are the female politicians, the leaders of the world from free country who goes to my beautiful country. They obey compulsory hijab laws without even challenging discriminatory law. They don't even dare to ask a simple question about compulsory hijab. Guess what? They say hijab is required by law. We don't want to break the law. Come on, slavery used to be legal. If no one objected against slavery, nowadays slavery could have been with us. They say we want to respect the culture of Iran. You kidding me? Calling a discriminatory law part of our culture? This is an insult to a nation. They say this is an internal matter. We don't want to save Iranian women. I don't want you to save us. I want, we the women of Iran want to save you. Stand up for your dignity. Be as brave as Iranian women. When you go to Iran, challenge the law. They say we don't want to touch compulsory hijab issue because we don't want to cause Islamophobia. Phobia is an irrational fear. But my fear about Sharia laws is rational because I'm not allowed to be my true self in 21st century. And when these leaders go to my beautiful country and they don't challenge the discriminatory law, they empowering the Islamic regime to put more pressure on us. Nowadays, the dictators are more united than us. The dictators from Russia, China, Turkey, Islamic Republic, when democracies crumble, human rights curtailed, freedom of, freedom of press limited, what we need to show our solidarity and get united. Because the only way that we can be successful is to not forget our sisters who risk their lives and they are in prison and support them rather than empowering the government of Iran.